Hello everyone. Today let's start this chapter with a question. How do we tell the difference between what is alive and what is not alive? If we see a dog running or a cow chewing cud or a man shouting loudly on the street, we know that they are alive. What if the dog or a cow or a man were asleep? We would still think that they are alive. But how do we tell that? We see them breathing and we conclude that they are alive. Of course, breathing is an important process, but only breathing is not. So there are other life processes which ensures that there is a proper survival of a human body or any living things. So let's see these life processes in detail. But before going to what are the life processes, let's see some facts which will baffle your mind and you will surely be curious to know what exactly are the life processes which goes in our body. The human heart can squirt blood up to 30 feet. Now that is interesting. The acid produced in our stomach can dissolve a razor blade. The surface area of our lungs is equal to a tennis court. The left lung is smaller than the right lung because it provides a room to make for your heart. Now, the blood vessels are 60,000 miles long in our body. And at last, but not the least, the aorta present in our heart is of diameter approximate to a garden hose. Now, these, may, these facts makes you curious to know what exactly are these life processes. So, let's define what is life process. If we have to define the life processes, we will simply say that the processes which perform together our maintenance of our body is called as life processes. Now, why do we need these life processes? If the maintenance of our body is happening without any of our efforts, that does not mean it is an easy task. For this maintenance, we require 11 systems by count so that they work together and make our day perfect health-wise. For this purpose, we require energy and this energy is extracted from the digestive system and the respiratory system. Now these two systems work together and extract or derive the energy from the food we eat. Now these energies need to be transported to every part of our body and this is done by the circulatory system. Now these also creates the waste materials. These waste materials are removed by our body through the excretory system. Now all these four processes work together to make a body healthy body. So, we will be seeing all these four processes in detail. We will be also seeing the life processes which are involved in the plants and also in the unicellular organisms.